Art galleries in downtown Springfield had a different approach to the First Friday Art Walk tonight. Missouri State University's Brick City Gallery hosted a fundraiser to help a fellow artist who is currently recovering in the hospital. Our Madison Heaver is live downtown with more. Madison, good evening. Yeah, Heather, MSU's faculty, staff, and students gathered at the Brick City Gallery uh, to raise money for a, a, one of their artists who was in a recent motorcycle accident. Emily is like the most hard working student in my class. Emily Cunningham was recently in a motorcycle accident, keeping her recovering in the hospital. One of our students, Emily Cunningham, who's a senior in sculpture, was in a motorcycle accident. Her brother was driving and they took a corner and hit an oil slick and he lost control of the bike and both him and Emily have been in the hospital. He's been released, but Emily's looking at a year recovery with a broken pelvis. Everything in the gallery have been, has been donated. We all wanted to do something. We didn't know what we wanted to do. We bounced around several ideas, but we knew we wanted to help her out. Friends of Emily's say if the roles were reversed, Emily would be trying to help them out. If it was one of us in, in her shoes, she would be right there doing the same thing for us. She's a really good kid. And some of them even donated their own art to help raise money for Emily's medical expenses. But I wanted to contribute more than just money, more than, you know, something that meant something, because Emily means something to me. Others donated their art, but also helped create a GoFundMe page for Emily to relieve stress of medical bills. Well, after hearing about the crash, uh, me and Caleb, we got together and we really um, took initiative to try to raise funds to help Emily out, because it's devastating to hear this happen to someone like Emily, who her whole uh, passion has to do with using her body to create art. As for Emily's studies, Emily will definitely be back to school at some point. We're just not sure when yet. We're hoping next semester, but we'll see how recovery goes. Now, students said before the fundraiser that they were ra they raised about six hundred dollars, but I learned recently they tonight they raised about four thousand dollars for Emily. Now, if you want to donate or you want more information about this story, uh, you can find that on our website, OzarksFirst.com in downtown Springfield. Madison Heaver, Ozarks First.